The Columbia-class ballistic missile submarines, designed to replace the aging Ohio-class fleet as the U.S. Navy's primary sea-based nuclear deterrent, have seen several key developments in late 2025. The program aims to deliver 12 submarines in total, with the lead boat, USS District of Columbia, SSBN 826, expected to enter service around 2031. Each sub will measure 560 feet long, carry up to 16 Trident II missiles, and feature an advanced nuclear reactor that requires no refueling for the vessel's entire 40-year lifespan. Recent contract award. In mid-November 2025, the U.S. Navy awarded General Dynamics Electric Boat a $2.28 billion contract to accelerate procurement and advance construction on five additional Columbia-class hulls, SSBN-828 through SSBN-832. This funding supports long lead materials, assembly, and coordination with Naval Sea Systems Command, primarily at Electric Boat's shipyard in Groton, Connecticut, with additional work in Virginia and Rhode Island. The deal is part of efforts to maintain production momentum amid broader program challenges, including supply chain issues and workforce constraints. Construction Milestones a major milestone occurred in late November 2025 when the bow section of the lead submarine, built by Huntington Ingalls Industries Newport News Shipbuilding, arrived at electric boats facilities for final assembly and testing. This module includes advanced navigation, sonar, and forward compartments. With all major sections now on site, including the stern, also from Newport News, the USS District of Columbia is reportedly over 60% complete, shifting focus to full hull integration. The arrival was highlighted in defense media and on X, underscoring progress toward the program's goal of replacing Ohio-class subs by the 2030s. Ongoing challenges and discussions. The program continues to face scrutiny over escalating costs, now projected at around $132 billion for all 12 boats, and delays, with the lead sub's delivery potentially slipping 12 to 18 months beyond initial targets. Recent public discourse, including comments from Elon Musk citing Senate Susan Collins on unaccounted Navy submarine funding, potentially referencing broader procurement issues, has amplified calls for accountability in defense spending. Despite this, supporters emphasize the sub's stealth, endurance, and strategic importance, with some ex-users sharing videos and specs to highlight their advanced capabilities. No major setbacks or new contracts have been reported since the bow arrival as of December 2, 2025.